close one zero in the evening and said my title speech is all in my head. Now, when I'm talking about all in my head, I'm not talking about the imposter, the little man that's making himself comfortable inside my head, trying to put me down every time. But I'm talking about something else, something that is actual, something that is real. Now, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Now, I'm talking about migraines. Uh, now, what is migraines? My, uh, there's few descriptions of what migraine is. The National Health Service of the United Kingdom, which is the nationwide nation, uh, health registry of the UK, states that migraine is a moderate or severe headache, which is categorized by a throbbing pain in one side of your head. A, another explanation is by a professor called Professor Goatsby, which is a professor of neurology at the, uh, at the New University of Nova Scotia, which states that migraine is a headache that is categorized by sensory overload. Now, according to me, that headache, migraine is the feeling when someone uses a power tool to drill, some, to drill on your skull for m minutes on end. It's that painful. And migraine is something, it's a health condition that is inflicting a majority of the people around the globe. In fact, migraine is the third most prevalent health condition in the world. To, to give you a picture of how prevalent it is, the National Health Service, as I said before, has stated that one in every seven person in the world have experienced migraines before. Out of uh, and migraine is more prevalent than asthma, than diabetes, and than epilepsy combined. And every every day, three thousand migraine attacks occur for every million of the population. To put it into perspective, that means in the United Kingdom, there's hundred and ninety migraine, hundred and ninety thousand migraine attacks per day. In the United States almost a million migrant attacks per day and put it into our perspective in Brunei that means there's at least a thousand two hundred people in Brunei that suffers from migrant attacks every day. So what causes migraines? Before we before we go into what causes migraines we first we must first understand how migraines work. Now according to according to Dr. Lane Green, which is a neurologist and the headache specialist for for a university in Cincinnati has stated that for every person that suffers from headaches, they usually have a threshold. And with those thresholds are accompanied by a few triggers. Now threshold is the level of tolerance that you can afford before you think that a headache becomes unbearable. So the closer, you, how close you are to the threshold affects how severe and how frequent the migraines can become. So the closer you are to the threshold, the more frequent and the more severe is the headache. So what, what causes you to go close to that threshold is what they call a trigger. Now triggers can be anything and everything because migraines be is affected by your environment and by yourself as well. So they, but usually they are categorized into three factors. First is the physical factor. So what your body does and what you do to your body can affect how you get a migraine. The, that is, if you have a low quality of sleep, if you're sleep deprived or you have too much sleep, it can cause you migraine. You have low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, you can have migraine as well. And even if you have exercise, if you're not used to it, you can have migraine as well. The other factor is the emotional factor. What's in your head can affect migraine as well. This usually could uh, be attributed to your emotions. How sometimes too much of one emotion can lead, can, means that your brain cannot take, uh, take care of it. it. Means they have a migraine. There's too much stress. You can be depressed or even over excitement. For some people, over excitement can lead to migraines as well. And finally, is the environmental factor. What's around you can affect your migraine as well. Now, environment be, is usually attributed to your senses. So too much thing happening to one sense of your body can affect your migraine as well. Sensory, sensory overload is what I'm trying to say. 
something like bright lights or strong smells or some loud music can give you migraine as well. So from here you can see what causes migraines. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of triggers, but different people have different combinations of those triggers. Some people might have one or two, some people might have half a lot. Imagine all the triggers kind of like uh, the foods in the buffet and you just pick and mix. Those suppers just pick and mix. And so everyone has a bit of a uh, bit of different triggers. Some might have two or three of the same ones, but you can rarely see someone that has the same group of triggers as someone else. For example, for me, I have a bit of the three factors. Uh, I can't... If, Sometimes I have migraines early in the morning because I didn't have too much much sleep late last night. Sometimes after work or during work, I might have migraine because the stress of work might be overbearing for me. And finally, I can't do long distances, especially in the morning because the bright lights do affect me as well and give me migraines. So, what, so how do you treat migraines? Now, uh, how you treat migraines though, Dr. Andrew Hershey, which is a neurologist and the head of neurology at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, has put his feet to the ground and said very, very clearly that there is no such thing as a cure for migraines. You can lessen the pain, you can try to prevent it, you can treat it, but you can never make it go away. Some ways to treat it is to use over-the-counter um, Painkillers such as aspirin, uh, ibuprofen, or paracetamol. But usually, what he says is prevention is better than cure. That's the reason why you need to know what your triggers are. If you know your triggers, that means you know what to fix and where to fix it. For for me, when I said about sleep, I I try to improve my quality of sleep by trying to get eight hours sleep every day and also try to keep my room and my bed clean just to improve my quality of sleep. For work, I try to manage my priorities, manage my time as, as the best that I can so I don't get overbearing by the work that I have, which is, we can relate to reduce of stress means less migraine. And finally, if bright lights can affect me during long distances, I just use a sunglass when I, when I feel it's overbearing. And so, so that is what is migraine is. There's the causes, there's the triggers, and how you can treat it. Mm. Just to a certain degree, everybody actually has suffers from migraines. It might not be, might not be too much. Some of you might have it every day. Some of you might have it once every year. You just need to learn that you need to understand that there's people around you that suffer from the same thing. Discuss with each other. Try to get some solutions that you get that you might that might work for you. But in the end, you need to know what your triggers are. You need to know what your thresholds are. So know your threshold, know your trigger, and know what's in your head. Back to you, Tosma. So good evening.